Today I'm going to show you how you can get free traffic to your website even if your website is brand new. You can see here on the screen I've put up some of the examples of a brand new website that I started in May 2019 and I'm going to show you exactly what I did to get 23,951 visitors to my brand new website since May 2019 until now, until September. You can see my traffic has been growing and the website is doing great. My name is Greg Kononenko. You might also know me as the Caffeinated Blogger. On this YouTube channel, I put out regular videos about traffic generation, blogging, affiliate marketing, and making money online. Click subscribe just below this video. Tick the bell notification icon if you want to get more videos like this from me in the future. First of all, let me quickly show you my traffic results so that you can see with your own eyes in Google Analytics how it looks. So here I am inside my Google Analytics account. And as you can see, the traffic has been consistently growing. When I started the website in May 2019, it is in a very competitive niche and it is in a niche that also makes a lot of money. So there is a lot of competition, but it's still possible, as you can see, to get really good results. I'm going to give you a breakdown now, but basically I've had many days where I had um, 400 visitors, you know, 100 visitors a day. Then we hit a few peaks where we had 280, 375, 533. And so as you can see, the website is also starting to get more and more traffic. So the traffic is growing and soon I know that in several months we will be hitting 1000 visitors a day easy, which is going to be great. The process that I follow is very simple and it works pretty much every time. The first step is to spy. It's what I call the spy step. So let's do that together. For this spy step, you can use any affiliate network. I'm going to use ClickBank as an example. Uh, but you can do this on any affiliate network. I do this on several affiliate networks. So you need to find a product that you think you want to promote. Okay. And that can be a product that one of your competitors is promoting, or maybe you're just browsing through affiliate networks, trying to choose which product you want to promote. Um, as you can see, I've had a reasonably good couple of weeks on ClickBank. Uh, my sales are not daily sales just because I'm actually promoting uh, higher ticket products, you know, I'm promoting products that have a $200 commission at the moment on ClickBank. So that's why I kind of don't make a sale every single day. But I do this on a bunch of platforms. Um, so on ClickBank, I would go to Marketplace. You know, if you're using a different platform, that's completely cool too. You can just go into a different uh, platform and browse the offers there and apply the same logic as what I'm doing here. And uh, you just need to choose any offer that you want to kind of spy on or reverse engineer. Generally, a good idea is to go into advanced search. I try to promote offers on ClickBank that have a good gravity. So I choose gravity higher than 20. That will give me results that, you know, at least 20 affiliates have promoted this successfully in the last eight weeks. And I like to sort by gravity as well. And generally, then you can go through and kind of have a look at uh, what sort of offers there are. For the purposes of this video, I'm going to use an example this offer as an example text chemistry so uh, it's you know it's a good offer and a good niche relationship is uh, always a very well converting niche that always has a high demand so what we need to do first is we need to actually check which domain hosts the sales page so to do that you can simply right click and open link in a new tab like this and that will open up the actual sales page of this offer so uh, we can see that it's hosted on textchemistry.com. So this is the domain to which all of the affiliates, when they send the traffic via their affiliate links, okay, and they're promoting it on ClickBank, all of their traffic is landing onto this domain, textchemistry.com. This is really good, a bit of information because we can now analyze this textchemistry.com domain in my new favorite tool called SimilarWeb. So SimilarWeb is a very powerful research software and you can uh, you can use it in a number of different ways. But the way that I recommend for you to use it is paste that domain in here and that will actually tell us which websites are sending traffic to textchemistry.com. So we're going to this way discover the websites that other affiliates that are promoting text chemistry, what are their websites 
Uh, we're going to learn all of that from the similar web tool. Now go into referral traffic and then look into incoming traffic report for similar web. So as we scroll down to referral traffic, okay, you will see here are all of the websites that are actually sending their traffic to textchemistry.com. So you can see the first one is commitment connection. The next one is rel rules. And now guys, that's great information because we've just found which websites are the affiliates for this program. So let's take a quick look at those websites. Let's open both of them up. I'm going to open rel rules and commitment connection. And we can see that rel rules looks like some kind of a nice blog with good amount of content. We can see that they're publishing regularly September 11. Okay, so this is a blog that publishes regular content. And we also know that they're sending a lot of traffic to textchemistry.com. So they're an affiliate for it most likely. And commitmentconnection.com. So we can see they've got their own product overview, coaching services. And, um, you know, they may have some content on their website as well. I'm not entirely sure, but we're going to find out in just a second. Now, the reason why this is important is we already know from this tool that they're sending a ton of traffic to textchemistry.com. They're the top two referring websites. Now, uh, what we're trying to do is say, all right, well, these websites are sending a lot of traffic. Can I publish some kind of content to also start getting a lot of traffic to my website and start sending it to ClickBank to that affiliate ClickBank offer so that I can also start making the money just like these guys are making as well. This is where step two comes in. We're now going to reverse engineer those websites. We're going to check what kind of content they're publishing. And we're also going to check how we can reverse engineer this content so that we can also start getting a lot of free traffic to our website and we can start making those affiliate commissions. To do that, I use my favorite tool, Ahrefs. You can also use a free program called Ubersuggest. It's completely up to you or you can, can grab a seven day free trial of Ahrefs on their website. It's just only $7 for seven days. So it's up to you guys. And let's first of all, analyze this blog here, railrules.com. So I'm going to enter this website domain like this. And let's see what kind of information we actually get. So here is what we got. We can see that they are ranking at the moment in Google for 50,000 various organic keywords. Uh, this information is really, really important for us because what we can do now is actually see what keywords they're ranking for and we can apply some filters and we can check which low competition keywords they're ranking for. So I'm going to use this filter, type in keyword difficulty up to 10 and I'm going to apply another filter of volume. So we want keywords that get at least 200 searches per month. And let's see how many keywords that leaves us with. So that leaves us with 3,683 keywords, which is a lot. Now guys, what we've got here is pure gold. Look at all of these keywords. How would you have found these keywords if you did not follow the process that we've just been through? There are tons of keywords that have a, have a keyword difficulty of zero and that have a lot of search volume. So for example, look at this one. Signs, he's afraid to fall for you. Signs, she loves you but is scared. There is keyword difficulty of zero, guys. Keyword difficulty of zero and 800 searches a month. Okay, so we've just discovered a golden keyword that can get you a ton of traffic. There's another one here. Sign your ex will eventually come back. 1,400 searches and keyword difficulty of one. That is insane. Because if we look at the SERP results here within Ahrefs tool, we will actually see most likely, yeah, look at that. Uh, look how many weak domains there are that are ranking. So there is a domain that's ranking as number one for this, has got an Ahrefs rank of 6.2 million. So anything under one, anything that's higher than 1 million means that the domain is not so strong. Okay, domain rank is only 25. There's another one with 2.1 million, 7.6 million. So basically, guys, what this means is that this key phrase is very easy to rank for if you put together some reasonably good content. Like, let's see this one, keyword difficulty of zero. 
Okay, uh, let's see the SERP results for this. I'm sure that there will be even more domains. Yeah, look at this, this is crazy. 2.2 million, 2.5 million, 5.1 million, 72 million. So the way that Ahrefs arranges their results is that one is the strongest, two is weaker, three is weakest. So they basically kind of like rank from one till to you know 100 million all of the websites in their database so the higher this ar is the better for you it means that the weaker the website is so if you if you see a lot of results on um, here on page one that have an ar or ahrefs rank of 1 million or more okay that means that this website uh, this keyword is very easy to rank for it means that you know the content on the websites that are ranking is not optimized or perhaps it is short etc etc for example for this keyword signs she loves you but is scared you can see that one of the websites that is ranking here the best relationship of your life will be the girl who is okay they're, they're not even optimized they're not even optimized for this particular key phrase so what this means for you is if you write a good quality piece of content on this keyword, it will be very, very likely that you will be able to rank on page one. So let's just check as an example what kind of content this website that has got a ranking of 29M, so 29 million, what kind of content they've put up. So typically what I do, like my process for this is I open up different search results and I check how long their content is. So I will just select the whole article here and I will paste it into Word. So I'll paste as text only and Word will tell me how many words there are. So there is 1,167 words. Now guys, this generally means that if your website is also quite weak, as long as you can write content that's pretty good and has got more keywords, so maybe one and a half thousand or 2,000 keywords, you can you can probably outrank this website. You can see that this domain is very weak. This easy how it's only got um, domain rank of four. So they have almost zero backlinks. Okay, let's take a look at this one as well. True Medallion. And let's analyze them and see how big their content is. All right, so let's just grab that and select all of this. And then let's copy and paste that into Word. So now that I've pasted it, let's see how many there is so there is 1700 words so they've done what uh, typically i would do as you can see they've written longer content right they've written 1700 words and to google it seems that it's more in depth that's why even though their website is much weaker their domain rank is basically zero they managed to outrank this other website which is also weak but their content is 1100 words so for you, this means that even if your website is quite, quite weak and doesn't have a lot of authority, it means that if you write an amazing piece of content that's 2000 words or, or more, you will probably rank on page one without any backlinks, without doing anything crazy. That's exactly what I've been doing, guys, to generate um, a lot of traffic to this new website that I'm building. I haven't even built any backlinks and this just works every single time. So the step three of this process is to then go ahead and actually create the content and your content needs to be at least one and a half thousand words ideally you will want to do this analysis that i showed just before where uh, you look at the length of content of the websites which are weak and you know you try to understand sometimes you see some crazy things guys like sometimes you see that there are 500 words from a very weak website and they're ranking on page one. So that means that if you put together an article that's at least one and a half thousand to 2000 words long, cover the topic in detail and make sure that your content is better quality than the competitors, you will be able to attract the traffic to your web page. You'll be able to convert that traffic then into affiliate sales by either capturing the people onto your email list or by uh, having links like banner links, for example, or text links from your website to the affiliate program so that you can actually make the money. That's it. I really hope that you enjoyed this video. This is one of my favorite tips and one of my favorite ways to actually 
uh, start getting traffic to a website even if your website is brand new and has got almost zero authority. So subscribe to my YouTube channel just below this video and make sure to tick the bell notification icon so you never miss my future tutorials. Also, I'll place a couple of videos here that you can watch next which will really, really help you. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video.